見えてるえっと、今、フル画面になったフル画面。OK、この画面。はい。OK、Good morning, everyone. Today, today I will talk about、so、personalized alignment of the near supra. See that is a new concept. The personal alignment aimed to the patient native uh, conditions such as morphology,、uh, alignment, and so t i s h a t That is the difference among the patients. So,、uh, shall we start about talking? The first of all, how is that? Okay, okay, first of all, this is our staff. We are very, very small、uh, team, but very, very active and innovative. So, our location is just between Kyoto and Osaka, and very convenient space,、uh, place to visit、uh, such a very, very、uh, famous tourist stop, spot. And now, <laughs> <laughs> big peril. Is joining us and for three months,、uh, three weeks. And we、um, our discussion is very exciting and very fruitful. Anyway, so next time I can, uh, anyway, uh, we can accept any, any time. So, if as long as you want to come and learn about our surprise season now, anyway, today's my talk is the ticket. This is the basic of TK, what are、uh, required、uh, for TK. So, first one is stability. Sorry, stability, mobility, and pain free, and durability. Uh, so, uh, we have been seeking the better technique, better instrument. Uh, better component and bet better materials. So, this is our history more than a half century. As a result,、uh, long term survival rate、uh, already satisfies. So, in most、uh, national registry data, show that 10 year survival rate is around 95% and the revision rate. Of 10 years is reported at around 5%. So it is,、uh, maybe it is satisfied data. And this uh, data, uh, this percentage is stabilized after 2000 so due to the、uh, good technique and instruments and components. So compared in with the previous. Uh, cause of revision and the current cause of re revision.、Uh, instability, for e t r i n e wear, malalignment, and ex extensive mechanism,、uh, means of damage. That is the lack of the technique and the poor material and the poor instrument is dramatically reduced. So,、uh, maybe. The technique and the instrument is already established so far. However, satisfaction after TK is not perfect. The last 20 patients are unsatisfied after TK and one fourth patient d o n t want to have、uh, the TK again. And more than half p a t i e n t have r e s i d u a l symptoms. So, that is a problem. We should address such problems. Oh, if we can. What do we need more to accurate, more accurate procedure using the computer assistance and improved、uh, components, the wide size variation, and then kind of shape, shape and the gender specific. Um, improved materials、uh, so, such as p l u s t r i n g for what? Vitamin E. But improvement seems to me、um, after 2000 uh, because、uh, survival rate is already stabilized around 5% for 10 years. So,、uh, basically, what is the aim of TK? So, the aim was proper alignment, proper gap balancing, proper kinematics, 
What is the problem? So can we really find the uh, find the true goal? <laughs> so uh, so far, that is a goal considered to be the goal neutral one mechanical alignment. The neutral alignment uh, indicates the neutral alignment in the thread leg, hip knee ankle angle to be zero degrees. So in other words. Hip center, knee center, uh, ankle center come uh, in the same line. And the component is implanted 19 perpendicular to the mechanical axis and parallel on the same gap balance between the tibia and the femur. Mm -hmm. That is the true world. Most effort was focused on the two come through this uh, situation. So this concept is uh, known as neutral mechanical alignment. So in other words, so to aim to the same goal is for every patient so in the one size fit all approach or systematic approach. But Kinematics is very, very complex. Uh, there are a combination of three motions. One is the anterior posterior translation, so called the roll back motion, and uh, tibial rotation motion, and the flexion extension motion. So, three types of motion. I'm sorry, so the uh, uh, yes, it's flexion, extension, motion, atrial posterior translation, and the tibial rotation motion. Uh, the combination is different among patients. And ligament, uh, leg alignment is not always good. Try. It's a very, very famous paper from the Belemans. Even in the Western people, that is considered to be straight. Their leg is considered to be straight. But even in the Western people, uh, average HKA is 1.3 degrees in Velas. Uh, they established the concept of a constitu constitutional Velas. Is that the patient, if the patient has uh, more than three degrees in the pelvis, so uh, around thirty-two percent of male patient and seventeen percent of female patient have the constitutional pelvis alignment. Maybe this percentage is more higher in the Asian patients because of the custom or of the Asian patients. Anyway. Uh, this is a very uh, la uh, milestone of the, this concept. And joint line is not perpendicular to mechanical axis, approximately three degrees medially inclined uh, in the average. So this inclination, so-called joint line obliquity, JLO, is a bar exam application. So, oh, this is a very, very simple concept contradiction uh, between the joint lines component alignment. If you set the lateral uh, joint space uh, using uh, the component uh, that is implanted in the mechanical alignment concept, medial side joint up can be rise up. If we, uh, we set the media joint space as the same uh, by mechanical aligned components, lateral joint line should be done. So this is a very, very simple contradiction. Uh, in previous paper shows that we uh, the joint line elevate, mid line uh, instability it can be observed. So we need not to, we don't, we never change the joint line to get the good stability during the motion. So, but mm -hmm. as long as uh, we cut the, uh, the bone and the implant, 
so the components perpendicular to the uh, uh, femoral, uh, femoral anterior mechanical axis. So Jordan auto ratio in uh, avoid in is um, unavoidable. Okay. Uh, furthermore, mm -hmm. so gap, joint gap is not always rectangular, especially in the flexion. Lateral gap is lower than the medial gap. In, in flexion, you know, we can feel uh, that it's through driving the arthroscope to observe the lateral joint space is much easier than the medial one. So, uh even uh in the mechanical alignment concept we aim to the make the parallel gap not only the extension but also the flexion so the one solution is to uh uh to make the knee uh, the natural knee using the component, the set the component uh, along the knee patient native joint line. The first three, the technique is called as uh, custom fit ticket uh, reported by Howell. He is uh, the leader of the kinematic alignment technique. Uh, <laughs> So A of this concept is restore the neutral uh, arthritic alignment and morphology uh, using the, uh, the components. So custom made tibia and the femoral cutting guide, so-called PSI, uh, using the 3D reconstructed model of the patient uh, a uh, patient uh, preoperative with CD data uh, that is you know, uh, evoluted uh, to the kinematic alignment TK that is now a new concept of TKA that is uh, the components it's set aligning the three kinematic axes one is the flexion extension axis of the PIMA and flexion axis of the patella and tibial longitudinal axis, so that this is a yellow. Okay, I will talk about more detail uh, about this concept uh, tomorrow. Okay, thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.